So, um, thanks for the opportunity to present July to you. I'm Thomas Mushmeyer. I'm Professor of Chemistry at Sydney University and I'm also the Director of the Australian Institute of Nanoscale Science and Technology. Um, I'm sort of a bit of a serial offender in this space. I've uh, had six startups so far. Four of them are still alive. Uh, we created about 220 jobs and um, overall, depending on how you count, value of around $400 million. Um, now the next one. <coughs> the next one is July and Technologies. So where are we with that? So we've got, uh, we have a, it's a university uh, a startup. It's spun out. They assigned the IP across uh, into the company, which we founded in 2015. And then we raised some money in April 2016. And our focus is to produce commercially relevant prototypes at this stage. We are pre-revenue, but we can change the world if we are successful. All right? So just remember that. Um, technology is based on patented IP. We are going through the national filing stage right now. And as I said, it's developed from University of Sydney research, and it's one of those success stories. ARC, basic research, going all the way across towards translation. So it's a good news story for the Australian system. Even though we didn't go via CSRO, we are still in contact with CSRO. So. Uh, and, uh, and, and so we have a, a team of about 10 people at the moment, and uh, we're looking to raise a bit more money, maybe uh, April 2017, and in that we're looking for strategic partners. We are okay on the money side, really. So <clears throat> the question you might ask is, well, another professor, another battery, Big deal. Um, and, and I'd like to show you this number. 46 seconds. What's 46 seconds? Well, 46 seconds is actually the current, according to our chief scientist, so that's my source, uh, is, is, is equivalent to our current total lithium-ion storage capacity worldwide. 46 seconds of daily world electricity usage. So what does that mean? That means that if Elon Musk is successful with his factory, which is going to be fantastic, not downgrading that, but he will add 30 to 60 seconds to that. Fantastic, doubling it, but still not all that much because the market pull is just incredible. So my view, my point of departure for why I started to raise some money was that the storage demand out there because of the change in which we want to use energy uh, is such that the demand simply cannot be satisfied physically at this stage for quite some years to come. So in that sense also, it means everybody can play. So another professor with another battery, that's okay, because we can't make enough of the stuff anyway. So if the price is right, one has a market. In our case, we believe the price will be right, and we will have a big market. And we are constantly rung up by multinationals saying, tell us what you're doing in detail, come over, we want to see, and, and are thinking, well, if you are not nice to us, am I going to sue you? Probably not. Uh, so therefore, I hold off a little bit and uh, maybe come next year. Um, the main competitor, of course, are lithium-ion based batteries. We all know they are very powerful, but they're not perfect. You have this sort of uh, situation here. You can choose which car that might be. And, uh, <coughs> and the, other, the other one is, of course, the Galaxy 7, which we are not allowed to take on airplanes now and charge because it can also blow up. So lithium is powerful, it's ubiquitous almost, but has got some problems, real world problems that you can see here. So we are going for a different kind of technologies based on something quite different, zinc and bromine. Very different. So how does that behave if I really push? Gosh, that was quick. Uh, <laughs> go for it. So these are our gels. We're hitting it with a blowtorch. A thousand uh, degrees, and you see not much is happening. So we're very comfortable in terms of our stability. Component is not flammable, and we are combining liquid and solid electrolyte, getting the advantages of both. This ingredient, though, that really makes all the difference is a secret sauce that we put in that's patented that captures the bromine, which is nasty, which is giving the battery its real power. That we are able to capture on a molecular level. It does not escape unless we want it to, making the whole system really safe. Safe enough to put in houses, and that's our main market. <coughs> Got more money? Okay. So our key advantages are we are much, much less expensive in terms of redox materials. 
zinc versus lithium, price differential about 20, uh, 32 to 39 times uh, cheaper, and we are also much safer, of course. Um, some technical reasons why the gels are better, uh, because that's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>